This is part five of my Victron MultiPlus 2, the 2x120 split phase 50 amp unit being installed in a brand new 2025 Airstream front bedroom twin, 25 footer. Here's where we left it off in part four. Primarily, you see the Victron MultiPlus at the top, Epic battery lower left, the rest of the Victron equipment lower right. So the first thing we had to do was depower everything and then remove the existing DC batteries. So I was able to pull these guys out and then started wiring the box. Okay, we're in the battery box. I've removed the two batteries. And the two leads that were the battery feed to the house will now return 12 volts to this chassis location because I'll need to power the lift which is uh, through this fuse right here. Also connect to the TPMS, which I have installed under here. You can see the TPMS under there somewhere, hopefully. And also to connect the carry out for the uh, solar panel. So uh, I also use this as storage. So now I've got a little bit of room and uh, I use single studs in here. As you can see, everything's correct. So uh, I think we're ready to Head inside. Now I've done this all with the power off. Everything's been turned off. AC's off, the battery's off, everything's been turned off. So from, from safety standpoint. Okay, now we're gonna remove the old converter right here and recapture the common and the 12 volt line, the old 12 volt line and move them over to the new system. Removing the existing charger converter was very simple. Next up, we gotta pull the inverter. And that'll take a few minutes. One thing I was concerned about on this inverter when I pulled the large two watt DC cables was the lugs were loose. You might check yours. That concerned me. So there's the inverter area removed and brought it back to the bench for its eventual next owner. Powered up, looked at the voltage in the box, 13.44. That's about the resting voltage of this Epic battery. Uh, it is a lower voltage battery than what a lot of people are used to. A lot of the big batteries, the Battleborns and all that, are going to rest at a little higher voltage. And what really throws the curve is that your charging profile has to be adjusted to 13.9 and 13.5, not 14.4 or 14.2, as maybe you've heard of in the past. Okay, everything is cut in, AC and DC. And uh, primarily, the work today was to remove the inverter and the charger, which was against that wall, and then recapture some of the wiring and reuse it. If you think that you're removing too much stuff after you do this, you're probably doing the right thing. So uh, that is the DC always on bus that back feeds to the battery box. The batteries did feed in here. Now it's turning it around and heading back out that way. I had to use some uh, Wagos to connect the two circuits that were inverted and uh, just to pass it on through. A lot of cleanup in the DC box. I've also tightened down all of the commons. See, Airstream does some really interesting things. I don't know if all RVers do this, but DC is simply sourced from your DC panel. All your circuits come out of here. They're all fused. And they send the circuit out to lights and refrigerator and anything else that's DC. But every single DC circuit, the common returns to a bus right here on the DC panel. Right there. And then the circuit's completed through a number six wire, a white number six wire that goes back to the battery negative in an indirect way. Kind of strange. So we're in pretty good shape and I have yet to mount the Servo GX 7 inch and the multi panel. I'm leaning towards putting them up here on this uh, cabinet just for simplicity, just to keep it simple. But uh, that'll be my next, next part. That'll be part six. So uh, we're done in here. I'm pretty happy with myself. I'm kind of tired. Tools laying everywhere. I thought about everything five times. I'm glad I did because nothing was wrong and it fired up first time successfully. So next up in part six, I'm gonna mount the display and reinstall the bed, 
put everything away, and call the project complete. I'll have that done in the next few days. Right now, it's freezing, and I'm going to go inside. Catch you next time.